Hello, hello. I'm Red, and this is my stream. Today we are filled with uh, some jalapeno ranch ruffles and some homemade quesadillas, and we're gonna tackle this scene and hopefully fix up this mess. Whoa, this mess of a boat that we've made. Um, and yeah, that's the goal for today. Let's go ahead and throw on some music and get into it. Uh, I've changed my audio settings around quite a bit. Um, I've been kind of blown out by my desktop audio for a while. So hopefully this is good. We'll see though. So, looking at this thing. Looking at this little monster that we've made. Um, it's pretty bad. I really like all this additional stuff in the back. It's a little bare bones, but it's nice. I enjoy it. So now we just need to uh, make the boat work. And I'll tell you what, I think we're just gonna restart. Like, I think we're just gonna redo the boat. So let's go ahead and grab this boat. Uh, we'll put it up in here and we'll get rid of it. <clears throat> what we're gonna wanna do is just start over. Make a new cube. This is our boat. I think we got a little too proud of ourselves with how good sculpting was at first. And I was like, oh, I can sculpt anything now, including artificial objects. Um, that's not how anything works. We have separate tools for a reason. Why not use them? Um, I'll fix these dimensions later. Let's not stress too, too much about all this. That looks about right to me. And we'll say that's about the right size. So let's make the boat. Uh, I gotta rename this one to Boat Old. And you can now be Boat. And we're going. Right. So, immediately, we're looking at this thing. What do we want to do? How do we want to get this thing working? There's a lot of different angles that we could take. I'm thinking the first thing we want to do is the point on the nose, and then we'll do the hole. Because the hole is going to be super important right away. <clears throat> Excuse me, still have some quesadilla inside me go. So let's just make a couple of bisections here, and I'm just going to do it the really old-fashioned, terrible way. Um, never claim to be the best person in the world, so it is what it is. And honestly, now that I'm looking at this, we'll cut it in half. Let's do just the old classic cut in half technique. Wait, is there a mirror mode just by default? Have I been using the mirror modifier wrong this whole time? Ugh. Hold on, hold the phone. Hold the phone, what? Let's try it, let's try it. Let's see what happens. If I go into vertex and I do the Y axis, what happens? What on earth? Wow. That's gonna save me so much time. That's amazing. Wow, that's gonna save me so, so much time. That's so nice. All right, so we'll bevel all that eventually. In fact, I think we might wanna go a little bit more aggressive. So let's merge. bring all this forward. I'll bring all three of you forward, why not? There we go. And then we'll do the same thing here. And that should really do it for us. Let's 
little bit in. Come on. That looks about right to me. So then we'll start merging. Um, our music, as per the norm, is provided by Streambeats. Thank the Lord for Streambeats. I couldn't imagine doing this without music. Music is really a huge way that I like process all of the information in my life, basically. So just to have a little soundtrack while we're doing this is invaluable. All right, that's kind of a boat. I can't believe, I'm still like in awe that we didn't understand how mirror mode worked until just now. Um, but that's like the whole point of the series, man. Whatever, right? That's pretty boat shaped to me. We'll grab you and we'll just pull everything up. Ooh, that's actually a bad looking angle right there. Let's fix that. All right, and all of that will be like that. Something is missing here. What have I done? I take this and even it out and then I will just do one bisection right here we should have a pretty vague boat shape now Decent. It's a little weird. All right. Certainly I can fix a lot of this up once we get into the denser, like, subsurface part. I might even use a little bit more sculpting. I know that's kind of a curse word here right now. But um, I might sculpt just to average out some of these or remesh some of this. Um, so I'm not too, too worried, as long as the basic shape is correct. Um, so that being said, I'm going to do probably the most sacrilegious thing I can do in the world. Uh, so my apologies for what you're about to see. We are going to... We're going to combine these faces. And I think I'm going to combine these faces... I think I'm gonna combine all of them. Is that the worst decision in the world? No, it's not that bad. Let's do that. And we'll inset a face. Oh man, I'm gonna have to redo all this weird subdivision here. Oh well, it is what it is. Um, we will, hmm, this is actually gonna be a little tough, isn't it? Let's go for it, whatever. So we will say, hello, what just happened? So we'll say it's gonna be like negative 0.5. That looks about right to me right there. Again, we're gonna smooth it. So let's inset another one and I'm a little bit I have an idea. Before we get too ahead of ourselves, let me just say I have an idea. What's happening here? Oh, that's kind of butchered, isn't it? 
Let's dissolve those. I'm gonna have to come and fix all of this eventually. Um, so like, huge apologies. Get that out of here. All right. Are we still... Oh, merging doesn't do mirroring, okay. Good to know. Oh, I am like butchering this model. You know, we're gonna really test how good I am at like fixing things. Cause I am getting pretty close to destroying this thing. It works though. Okay, so check this out. We have this, right? I kind of would like it to be even smaller. Maybe even just a little bit smaller. Oh, what did I do? What did I just do? Sounds like somebody is mowing my cul-de-sac. There's no grass out there. Here we go. Ready? Moment of truth. Yeah. Now, can I move it? Oh man, we're in business. We've done it. Okay, how bad can it go? It can go pretty deep. I don't think we need it that deep. Okay, so does this look terrible? Uh, yes. Yes, it does. But is it a boat? Like, obviously it's a boat. So we've accomplished something. It's not perfect, but we've accomplished something. Um, and I am very okay with something. So let's just do some progressive editing just to really kind of sell the idea to ourselves. Just want to feel comfortable with this. Again, I'm going to smooth this out. I'm going to subdivide this a little bit more. I'm probably going to have to do it manually, which I'm not looking forward to, but I don't hate it. I don't hate this at all. This is infinitely better than what we were doing before. So um, the sad truth of this, as we're bragging to ourselves, um, is I think I have to completely fix this before I can start adding seating and like the more niche things. But first things first, we gotta figure out what we're doing down here. Um, if you'll take note of the old boat, we have this ring down here. Uh, what's up with this ring? Well, this ring is gonna be a little like place for um, a creature to sit in and the creature is going to push the boat forward. So they're gonna be kind of using like the assistance of something to move. We need to figure out how to do that on here. And that was the moment on the last sketch where I switched over to sculpt mode and destroyed everything. So let's not do that. Instead, what are we going to do? Part of me thinks we could do something a little bit weirder. I'm just thinking about what, what this animal is gonna be doing, right? <clears throat> if I put like a little T section down here and the animal sits off on the T, it's not gonna hold the animal's weight up very well. But it doesn't have to be a circle, it can be a square. And this is where there's like a bunch of design ideologies that I could use. So let's just think for a second. Let's give ourselves a moment of rest. It could almost be interesting if there was like a rope that hung down and the animal kind of held onto that rope. And then that way when the boat is moving on its own, the rope just like 
goes backwards and it isn't creating like as much drag as having a big T section would. So I think I like the the rope idea. So let's do that. Let's make a rope. Um, I have a really nice rope texture um, hidden somewhere on my computer that I gotta find. So we're not gonna worry about the texture first. Um, it's really nice. It's like a normal map that you place on rope and it makes it look like just so cool and it reflects light really nicely. But um, yeah, we're not worried about that. So instead, what are we worried about? Well, I think we want, hmm, <laughs> let's make a boat hook. That's exactly what we wanna do. Let's make a boat hook. I'm not even gonna use this as a reference. We're gonna make a regular boat hook and I'm gonna sculpt it because I'm a madman. Or am I gonna sculpt it? Maybe I'm not gonna sculpt it. I'm a little scared of how I'm gonna be making this, but what are we doing? We're challenging ourselves. Let's go for it. So, cube. A weird, small, long cube. We're gonna divide this thing into two parts. that at two <clears throat> and then we will extrude this little bottom section there's one there's two we're gonna mirror on the x-axis and extrude this that did not do what I wanted it to so we'll say 0.6 and we'll say 0.6. And now I gotta look up what a boat hook actually looks like. Cause I'm, oh, not a boat hook. What am I talking about? Um, it's like an anchor point. What are they called? What is this thing called? A cleat, a boat cleat. There it is. Looks like almost every single cleat in the world actually has two little center sections. Okay, so let's do that then. I might've goofed it up a little bit. So we'll do that and we'll do two, sure. And then I gotta delete you. I gotta delete you. And then we'll connect these faces. That's one. That's two, three, and Oh, I missed it. Did it bad. There we go. Cool. Uh, looks like boat cleats actually come down a little bit here. So let's push that in. Everything else seems relatively fine. It might be a little lengthy here, but it's not bad. Um, and dare I say, I'm going to sculpt it. So before we do that, let's call this a boat cleat. And let's copy it. Whoa. Why did the Taurus? That was weird. There it is. Now we have two of them. So let's sculpt this guy. We are just absolute crazy people. Why do we love um, sculpting so much? I don't know. We're gonna remesh at a pretty small density because I'm just gonna decimate this thing. It is not super, super important that we do this correctly. It's a very minor detail. Oh wow, that looks nice. 
cool. That's not what I wanted. I wanted smooth. There we go. So we're going to smooth all this up and we're going to try and keep it. Ooh, actually. Work smarter, not harder. We're going to try and keep the top as flat as possible. Because that is a big thing in the design language for these guys. So we're just going to keep doing this. We're going to remesh every now and again to really get it nice. But we're just going to get it down, get it going. I think I might want to flatten the bottom section a little bit. But otherwise, it's a pretty uniform shape. It already kind of looks right. So let's do a remesh. And we're just going to get it really nice and round. Somebody sat and hammered this metal for a good little bit. So we're going to get it nice and strong. Always say thank you to your smith. And we're going. You can see those nice little lines forming when we do that. That looks so good. If we could just make the boat look good, we would be set. I think the big problem with the boat was I was trying to um, sculpt on such a big level and I wasn't being patient with it. Not to mention it's also a pretty artificial looking object. Cool. We'll just get this going up here. Get that going up here. Yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna flatten the top here in just a second. It has a special weird curve to it, but I would say I like the look of this a lot. go. That is not bad looking. Cool. So let's go ahead and just dig into the center part here. In fact, let me go ahead and just clay strip a tiny bit of this. Other way around. There we go. And then I will average all that. Oh, not what I wanted. Average all of that. And that should be our shape. We'll put a bracket for um, making the screw holes. By bracket, I mean we're gonna use a Boolean. Uh, but otherwise, I mean, look how quickly we made a little boat cleat right here. That was insanely fast. Dare I say that we've actually gotten a little bit better. If you've been here since the beginning, I mean, this should be a proud moment right here. That's exactly the shape we want. Kind of looks like a banana that's being put on display for like a museum. It's a sacred banana as a boat cleat. But like, yeah, I mean, come on. That is perfect. I'm inclined just to like do the nodes and materials for this already. Man, if all else goes bad, I can at least say I enjoyed this part right here. Cool. So, um, let's... Oh, I kind of want to cut the bottom of this thing off. I suppose I, there's no reason I shouldn't do that, but let's shrink it first. So we're in object mode. We will shrink it first. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's good. Oh, it's so good. Cool. We are going to, we're gonna add a cylinder. 
We're gonna make it really small. And we will move it and hopefully we will mirror it. Should be like that, but that looks way too big. Let's make it just a little bit smaller. Oh, is that what I think it is? I believe the high school is starting a football game. You're welcome. For anybody who doesn't know, um, I am the force that allows this football game to run. They only do it when I'm streaming. Um, at first, it was kind of an aggravation for us, but now I realize that we have um, a responsibility to these kids. And uh, because of us, they get to play uh, football. So, can't be that upset. We're doing like a special little duty here. Oh man. I look at this thing and I'm kind of like, oh, I kind of want to shear it. What would happen if we sheared it? No, let's not do that. That's a crazy idea. It's fine. It actually, I wish it bended a little bit more. Bended? That's not a good word. I wish it bent up a little bit more. Um, that's sort of a big part of the design language, but it's fine. All right, I got this guy. We're gonna edit it. Does it work if I try to mirror it? Oh no, that's a relative mirror. Got it. So there's still a reason to do the regular mirror mode. Um, relative to the boat cleat, there we go. Uh, boat cleat, we will give you a Boolean of a difference. Your object is gonna be this cylinder I just made. Uh, did I do it backwards? What's happening? should be this. What happens if I do this? Nothing. Absolutely nothing happens. Why? That seems strange to me. What is this cylinder? There's a hidden cylinder. Oh, it's that. Uh, we can call this guy um, connector. No, wait, what is this? Oh, that's the steering. Okay, we can get rid of you. So let's try the Boolean after this with our boat cleat. And that works. Uh, okay, well, I will apply that mirror in case that's what's keeping us back. And then we'll try it. Boolean difference cylinder. There we go, that worked. Cool, cool, cool. So we'll hit apply. We can delete these cylinders, and we've done it. Folks, we have done it. Um, for the sake of our own OCD, we'll grab the boat cleat, we'll do a little bit of a sculpt. Oh, look at that. That's very weird and destructive. Why does it do that? We want just the tiniest amount of strength. Let's remesh it. We're just gonna weather these guys up a little bit. Can actually raise the strength now that we're here. We're just kind of making it look nice and neat. Let's 
do one more remesh. We'll do one more time. Ooh, that didn't work. Something got a little bit weird there. Let's, um, instead of doing that, let's do very small blobs. And then we'll remesh this. Hopefully this should do it for us. Why is it extending in one direction and removing in another? That's very weird. Is one like an interior and one's an exterior? Have I messed the normals up? I think that's exactly what I did. But it'll do. Okay, let's get rid of that. Being a little OCD here, but it'll pay off, I promise. I say it's gonna pay off, and then it gets super weird. You know what? Screw it. I think I like the original better. We'll keep just one remesh. Just a super simple remesh. And then when we shade it smooth, it's not gonna matter anyway. There we go. So check it out, we go to object mode, we shade smooth. Yeah, you're not gonna see that. I mean, given how small it is, you're not even gonna see it. Um, so let's go ahead and decimate this thing. We want this thing to be tiny. It is such a small amount of our mesh. There is no reason to stress it. We'll apply that. And we'll decimate it one more time. That is officially too much decimation. That is somewhat suitable. We'll take it. Um, what I'm gonna wanna do now is add, not a circle, make that mistake every time. Let's get an icosphere of four, not 43. Oh, I think I just broke it. Oh no, oh, I'm an idiot. Oh no, I hope I saved. I didn't save. Oh, it did it. Oh, it maxed out at 10. Oh, thank you so much, Blender. Blender, you're actually such a well-made program. The staff that made you should be so proud of themselves. I'm gonna save right now. Cool, so we got an Icosphere. We're gonna flatten them real good. Put them over here. And then we are going to just absolutely make this thing tiny. And it's just gonna be flush to this surface. There we go. Now, you could say I should put a screw in this. Um, no, we don't have enough time. So we're gonna go back to the boat. Uh, let me put a mirror on this guy. Or better yet, better yet, let's really decrease our RAM. Okay, so this guy's coordinates are kind of madness. I'm just gonna call this negative point zero two two. Negative point two two. We'll keep it nice and easy for ourselves. 
Okay, both of them have been shaded smooth. We will call you uh, 0.22, and they are now identical. We are no longer worried about them. They're a little janky now that I'm looking at them. But we'll call you screw one parent, and you can be called screw two. Cool. I should really attach all of these things together. Oh, I don't want to do that. I guess I have to. Okay. Let's call you um, cleat and rope. And we'll bring you down. And I really need to like combine all of this stuff together. Tell you what, I didn't want to do this, but we'll just do it. I'm losing a little bit of memory, but this isn't the most like optimized program anyway. So there it is, boat cleat, it's all one. I can re-separate the mesh later if I need to. So we don't want boat old, we want the new boat. And we will take the cleat. We will rotate it exactly 90 degrees. Hello? What was that? Exactly 90 degrees. And then we will rot it, rotate it exactly 180 degrees. Now, for anybody out there who like knows boats, um, I know that a boat cleat is not meant to be attached to a boat. I know it's meant to be attached to an, um, a dock, but we're working with a guy who has a very weird circumstance, right? This guy is not normal. This is not a normal thing that we're doing. So having a little bit of a weird boat cleat on the bottom of a boat, that's fine. That'll do. I actually don't hate that at all. Cool, so let's make the rope. Rope is so tough for me. And in fact, I might wait until tomorrow to do the rope just because I'm worried about a very specific operation. I wanna use a curve and define a curve and then like draw to curve. And I'm not super clear about it. So let's hold off on that. Instead, let's make the part that holds uh, onto the creature. Um, and this one, I think, is gonna be a ring that has an extrusion to hold the rope, like a double ring. In fact, it is literally just going to be a double ring. So let's do that. We're gonna make a torus. We're gonna turn it uh, upright, which I think is that. Let's do Z instead. That is too much rotation for me. It is gonna be this way. There we go. Um, we need its minor radius to be pretty small. Looks about right. Looks like a ring that a seal would hold in its mouth. Uh, for those of you watching, it is not a seal. It is a different animal, but seal is about approximate. That measurement looks a little right to me. We should be good. I'd almost like it if it was more triangular. So now I'm inclined. Okay, let's do it. Like, let's get weird with it, right? Why not? Let's go into edit mode. Let's grab everything here and we will scale it up. And then we will move it up ever so slightly. 
and we'll grab everything down here and we will scale it down and then we'll move it up. And thus we've effectively made a triangle. Does it look a little weird? I would say yes, but I'm not that concerned. I'm actually not concerned at all. So cool. Let's go ahead and grab all of you, all of you. We will extrude you all out, which I can just do here, extrude along normals. Uh, that works for me. And then we will grab all of you and we will extrude along normals. I don't want to do that. I want to extrude straight up. A little bit higher, right there. Boom, and we'll punch a hole into it and um, sort of tie it off. But yeah, that's not half bad. Uh, we're gonna mirror our Y and we will do this. Just making a little bit of a circle, circular object to this. Um, I think we wanna grab all of that and do some wild sort of beveling. Let's clamp overlap, maximize our bevel and really add some subsections to it. I don't know what this little bump here is. I don't love that. So we'll just do ourselves the favor of merging them. Um, and then I'm gonna do some material editing because I think this has been kind of dense, honestly. It's been good. I'm getting like more and more satisfied with how much work we can do in such a short amount of time. Um, in no way do I think I am good at Blender, right? We are still keeping the Blender Blenders tag. This is still like us suffering through 3D modeling, but it is getting better and I feel good about that. So we just need to remember to give ourselves some breaks. And for me, that is node editing. I feel a sneeze coming on. I'm trying not to sneeze on Mike. I think it's a, uh, not my favorite thing in the world to do, but it might need to do it. Okay, that looks fine. So let's go ahead and do this and this, and we'll bevel those. Yeah, perfect. Clamp overlap. So it's nice and steady on there. Let me throw on a little bit of this. And I say that's fine. I think again, I'm gonna wanna mold this a little bit. I might put this in sculpt and put a little bit of bite marks on it. Sort of get the proportions more correct. So you know what, screw it, let's do it right now. Um, this is gonna be rope, uh, what will we call this? <laughs> we'll call this, I'll call it grapple. That's kind of a weird thing, but I'll know exactly what I'm talking about when I go to edit it. So, you're my object, shade smooth. Go to sculpt mode. Something messed up, there we go. All right, this thing is gonna be really dense, especially if we wanna do like bite marks. So we'll say that's about right. And we'll do a little bit of averaging. I 
kind of liked the idea of keeping the extrusion separate. Let's do that. Oh, this is gonna be tough, actually. I think I might have just done myself a real disservice. So let's copy it. We will go into this view right here. And we will go in here. Perfect. Let's edit it. There we go. All of this is gone. And then we'll just rejoin them. And that shouldn't be too hard, I think. There we go. Cool. So we'll go into object mode. We will grab you. And we'll go into edit mode. And we'll get rid of all of this. This one's a little bit more complex. This one's a little harder for us to do. In fact, yeah. Nope. Should just be able to do this, right? There we go. Perfect. So we are gonna go back into this and we'll do ourselves two favors real quick. We will join these guys together. I have a weird idea. Can I do this and this? And then can I click these two faces and um, Is there a way to just fill? Whoa, what happened there? Okay, so that's a no. Um, but I can take these faces and extrude them just a little bit. Um, that's not what I wanted. Extrude along normals. There we go. So we'll just put them really close together, right? That's fine. And then when I eventually edit it down, it'll have a little bit of a curve or something to it. Uh, we'll do the exact same thing to you. Although you actually look really good already. This actually looks so good. Uh, but it is gonna give us trouble. So let's, let's edit it real quick. Oh, I've really kind of botched this, haven't I? So we'll fill you. We'll fill you. Honestly, I think I'm just going to keep it like that. That is fine. It'll intersect anyway. Cool. So let's start with this part. We got you, and we will sculpt it. We can get rid of the cleats. Um, everything should be really simple for us. Everything should be just really standard. In fact, what am I doing? I wonder why I'm in trouble. There we go. Now it's more standard. Okay, so I just want to beat this thing up a little bit. That's all we're super worried about. So we'll put some dimples down in it down here. And we'll get this part kind of 
refined up a little bit. Okay, how are we gonna do this? We're gonna turn off our mirror. We're gonna get in here and we're gonna do some clay strips, very small. Very, very small. That's not what I want. In fact, I think I have to actually change my resolution even more. There we go. Right? There's little bite marks all in it. Okay, so we'll take that and then we'll do just the tiniest amount of like averaging. And that should be good. Yeah, it looks like the, the creature like favors a side too, which is really nice. Really, really nice. Just smooth all this up a little bit and then we'll do the top part and then we'll have about half an hour to do some materials and I want to do the water while we're here because I've had many instances where I struggled with water but I think we're done struggling with water I think I'm actually pretty decent at water now look at that I mean that's such a small detail you're not gonna notice it really once it's all said and done um, but that's kind of the point, right? That's that's art. Let's turn on the Y editing and let's just add a little bit of bulk to this. It just looks a little too small for me. There we go. I'll take that, that looks fine. So now we put on this part. And all is well, it's still insets correctly. So we'll grab you, we'll sculpt you, and let's get rid of you. All right, let's do this, bud. We're gonna say, that's good. We just want it to be a nice round object. Nice and round. Should look like a dumbbell at a gym. There we go. Really simple, really easy. Um, now that I'm really looking at it though, I see one thing I want to do. Get rid of you, there you go. We want to flatten. I really want to flatten that. Just so it connects nicely. There we go. So we'll go back to object mode. We'll grab this little avocado looking guy. Push you over. Bring you down just a little bit. Uh, I'm gonna hook a torus into this thing, although it probably should be a straight line now that I'm thinking about it. So we'll do sort of similar operation as we've done many a times today. It's gonna rotate on the Y axis. It's gonna be made really small. Um, and I should make it clear that this is sort of a plasticky sort of material. there looks good to me. 
So we're gonna grab this part of the grapple and we will Boolean difference cylinder. And we'll hit apply because I'm confident. There we go. And then we'll just bevel it up just a little bit. I love the way it looks. It actually looks so good already. So we don't need to worry too, too much. We can get rid of the second boat cleat. We're good on the boat cleat. What is steering one, steering two? Oh, I have two things named steering, my bad. So we'll get rid of that. And now I'm sort of inclined to keep these as separate objects now that I'm really looking at it. So let's call it grapple anchor. And you could be called, we'll call you ring actually, and ring anchor. All right, so we'll get in sculpt, we'll hit remesh. That is such a big brush. Chill out a little bit. There we go. There we go. So we're in object mode. We'll grab you and we will shade you smooth. We'll grab this guy, we'll shade him smooth. Little bite marks are perfect. We'll put the cleat on and we'll grab both of these guys and move them on down. Eventually there'll be a rope attaching all this, so we're not gonna stress too, too much. So let's do some materials. I think we did a lot in a very short amount of time. Um, everything I think looks amazing, save for one item. And let's think which item looks out of place. It's the boat. It's the central piece of this whole thing. Looks kind of bad, but whatever. Okay, you need to be rotated by 90 degrees. And it should be located on zero, zero. Actually, it could be a little higher. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, camera is gonna be an important thing for us on here, so let's do the camera. Oh wait, no, I had it at the right angle. What am I doing? It's actually already at the perfect angle. So we'll bring it back here. And I think we can actually move it up a little bit more. Okay, camera. Let's grab our camera. Let's see through its eyes. And we're gonna want the X to be like 60. And then we'll just start getting out of here. Okay, let's see, 40 up in the air. Oh, that C needs to be a little bit bigger, doesn't it? Oh, it just cuts off. That's weird, why does it cut off like that? Okay, well anyway, we're gonna keep adding size to this thing until our perspective is about right. 
So let's go 80 and negative 70. Oh, I meant 70. Yeah, what? Wait. It's the render distance. Why does the render distance suffer so much? certain distances. So we're gonna have to sit and figure that out. So let's not do that right now. Instead, we will add one more object. We'll make it quite large. And if you can guess what this is, This is gonna go right there. We'll make it fairly deep. And we'll scooch it. Actually, I can do this um, exactly. Oh, I should like cut the boat out of the water. That's an interesting thought. Um, okay. The Z will be 50, which means that it is going to be negative 50, which actually puts a little bit of water in the boat, which is fine. 50 seems like overkill now that I'm really looking at it. Let's do 30 and negative 30. Yeah, that's more than enough. Cool. Time to edit materials. So let's uh, let's get going. You're not gonna use the camera. This cube right here is ocean. Our HDRI is going to be set up to something a little beachy. Hmm, what do I got? Sunny Lake will do. Might be a little inappropriate for reflections, but that's fine. Cool. So, you guys. Oh, look at that. That looks great. Good lighting. Really good lighting there. Okay, so this guy is gonna be our classic. The absolute water special, which is transparent plus glass. I used to use a mix shader, but now I actually really like the add shader. And then we can just get the glass like very, very reflective. Is that the correct object? Oh, no, I just did it on the ocean floor. My bad. Um, you get this material and ocean floor. You're gonna be a different material, perfect. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, I might melt my computer while I'm doing this. Cool, so I think I'm gonna leave the transparency as this white. Cool, so how dark we get it is gonna do a lot for us. So I'll say 0 0.4, 0 0.6. 0 0.6 looks really nice. Super high saturation. Maybe not that much saturation. Let's do 0 0.7 again. Point 
0.25 is probably good, and the roughness will get to 0.4. Okay, so this is gonna render eventually. Now let's do the ocean floor, and the ocean floor is really simple. There we go. Look at that water. That's perfect. So the ocean floor is really simple. Um, ideally, I would use a subsurface scatter, but there's no reason to. It's, uh, it's pretty standard. So we'll do a diffuse. And what we're gonna do is throw in a color ramp. We'll choose two nice and sandy colors. Um, I am from Florida, so I like the Ormond Beach sort of yellow. And then we'll do a more conventional, like yellow, yellow. So let's get that and let's reduce the saturation. Actually, I will do 0.1. We'll get it a little bit more. And we'll drop the brightness just a little bit. Uh, and it's gonna be more on this yellow side. And what are we gonna do? We're gonna do just the simplest thing you can do. We're gonna add a noise filter, or a noise texture, I should say. And the scale will be massive. So we'll have lots of little pieces. Come on, get under the water. Maybe I can just drop the scale just a little bit. There we go. We have what kind of looks like an ocean. It's a little weird, uh, but we'll take that for now. Um, and then I'll go ahead and not process those. So now we're back to full rendering capabilities. Uh, let's start with the boat since the boat is kind of the most obvious thing we have right now. So what are we gonna do with this? Actually, we will do principal, but we're gonna add an image texture for the color. Uh, and I'm gonna open up one that I already have because I'm lazy. So where do we have it? I have a wood grain texture sitting somewhere in here. Uh, there it is. Wood grain. Oh, that's bad. That looks so bad. What happened? Okay, let's not use that one then. Let's use... Oh, these are bad. These are really bad textures. I might need to go back and do this on my own. You know what? I've been kind of jamming for this for a while. I'm gonna make a wood texture. Check this, check this out. We're gonna add a glossy, we're gonna add, actually just a glossy is fine. And we'll get some, some waves. Okay, now we just need a color ramp. All right, all right, check it out. We're gonna do this, it's gonna be perfect. We're probably gonna want a lighter, like tiki sort of wood. So let's do that. being 
very careful. The colors are not gonna be perfect at all. I am not a color theorist. People that are good with color are infinitely smart to me. Cool, so it's gonna go along the Y axis, which why that didn't do it, I don't know. There we go. And then we will scale it way, 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 way up. And then we're gonna add a healthy amount of distortion. Maybe not that much distortion. Right, so like at first glance, that's not bad. Is it the best thing I've ever done? No, 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 of course it's not. It actually looks a little junky, but we'll get back and fix this. Okay, that works. You ready to sell the effect? Here's how we're gonna sell the effect. Displacement. And now it has a little bit of depth to it. That looks very weird. This boat is just atrocious. We keep messing up this boat, but it happens. Okay, now begins the easy part. We will make ourselves a few metal textures. So we want a glossy. I understand that you can do all of this through principal D, uh, BSDF, but that's just really not in the radar for me. I think theoretically I could just um, keep it like this. Yeah, I don't hate that. Point two. Maybe even a little bit more than that, 0 0.25, 0 0.25. That works. We're gonna call this material uh, Chrome and we're going to continue to select it. Cool, there's that. You will be Chrome. You will be chrome. And now comes this weird plastic material. How do we want to do plastic? I think I could get really lost in this. Let's take a second. This is gonna be chrome. This is gonna be Chrome, but we're gonna copy it. And it's gonna be a lot less rough. Okay, so both of these should be roughly the same texture. We'll do first. I don't know, we'll do the easy part first. This is going to be kind of a reflective plastic. Let's see. No need for all this stuff. my mind, I'm like, I like this color, but let's not get too blown out of proportion for it. Part of me thinks I might want to just do the wood texture for it. don't love that. Okay, you can definitely be this plastic.
part of me thinks I gotta really rethink this. I don't know if we want something this modern on a ship like this. I like this little, you know, balancing beam whatever thing, but maybe it's just a single oar in the water. Or maybe it's literally an oar that you place back and it just like comes out like it's a, wo a oar that you can sit down on the ground. I'm not sure. Meantime, I'm not gonna worry about it. Now, this little teething guy. How are we doing this? This is where I would like to get a little bit complex. I wanna see if I can't color this bottom section a little bit differently, maybe by using like angles. So if I do a diffuse, I mean, I guess I could even just do a glossy, right? And then just really rough it up. Yeah, I don't think there's a problem with that. Okay, so let's put on a color ramp. I will just use white and black for maximum contrast to begin with. And what do we want? Object info. No, that's not gonna work for us. We want... That's not quite right. quite right either. That's going to kind of do what we want. Okay, here's, there's probably a much easier way to do this, but I have kind of a crazy idea. So if we take this, and we do vector math. We'll put you in there. We'll take the normal and put you in there. And we will subtract. We want a difference between these two. No, not quite. We want, we want to really like mitigate this part. Nope, this is all wrong. Let's see. Yeah, we're gonna need like a, um, it's gonna be like subtraction, but it needs to be a different number than this. So if I take you and we do vector math again, let's do subtraction. Let's just really carefully think about this. calls attention to it. That's not a bad look. Let's try the X just in case.
Oh, I ended up inside of the boat. Let's get rid of basically everything except for this. Oh man, it still looks a little bit weird for me. not quite what we want. I think that might do it. So we'll tentatively hold on to that one. Should have kept you at one, kept you at one. Yeah, for sure, it's this one, it's point one. Oh, maybe it's not that one. Oh, we've done it, we've done it, perfect. Excellent, so that is gonna be black. So we will make that white. And then we'll make this black. And then it just needs to be like a gradient. Right? We plug in a gradient here. Just a standard linear. Yep. Just a little bit there. Okay, cool. So what color is this thing gonna be? Let's get it to be. I like the idea of like a mint. And then this can be the mint, but it's gonna get desaturated a little bit. And it'll be a little bit darker. Actually, I think it might want to be yeah on the yellow side in fact let's give it a little bit more saturation and 0.15 there we go Looks kind of gross and junked up. All that for such a small little detail. You know how we do it. Perfect. Cool. So we've done just a lot of a little thing, but this should be a step in the right direction. Tomorrow we are looking to finish this guy to whatever degree we can do that. Um, so I definitely think I'm gonna do some stuff offline tonight. I didn't do it yesterday because I thought we'd stand more of a chance of finishing the boat today. But um, really we just need to finish the boat and then we're set. Like we got the scene set up, we got all this extra stuff going on. 
We just need um, the boat. Oh, look at that sand too. The sand looks so good. So yeah, I'll figure out this little ore situation and then tomorrow is all boat. Just all boat, all day, chilling, having a talk, whatever. So um, we'll head back to our regular development here. Oh, and I gotta figure out the camera. So let me actually take some notes real quick before I miss out. So the goal tomorrow is fix camera, um, fix rowing, um, there's two more things. What were they? Oh, add rope. And then do the boat. Camera, rowing, rope, boat. That's tomorrow. So as for the norm, uh, I'm gonna take a quick little break. Uh, I'm just gonna go take care of myself and make sure I'm ready for the next hour and a half. And then we'll be back for some Hyperlight Drifter. And uh, we'll be cruising through that game. So I will see you all real soon. Peace.